Hi, my name is Keith. I'm a solutions engineer here at GeoMarvel. Today I will provide an introduction to Mardo Builder and ArcGIS Pro. You will learn what Mardo Builder is, how to navigate the Mardo Builder ribbon interface, and tools and data to a model, and make connections between them to establish the order of execution. This video is for beginners and is an introduction to Mardo Builder. Model Builder is a visual programming language for building geoprocessing workflows. Geoprocessing models automate and document your spatial analysts and data management processes. You create and modify geoprocessing models in Model Builder, where a model is represented as a diagram that chains together sequences of processes and geoprocessing tools, using the output of one process as the input to another process. We have a request from our client to create a layer with the parcels in the area of interest or AOIs using the layer they have provided. They also asked us to provide these parcels to them in a KMZ file and we need to provide them with the total acres for each parcel using the international acres unit. Since this is a workflow we are asked to do regularly, we will create a model and model builder that will do this for us. In our pro project, you will see that I have the AOI layer provided from our client and the parcel layer of our area of interest in our pro project. Let's open Model Builder in ArcGIS Pro, and let's start building our first model while also reviewing some of the key features in Model Builder. You can open Model Builder by selecting the Analyst tab at the top, and in the Geoprocessing section, and selecting Model Builder. This will open the Model Builder ribbon and the Model window. I do want to note that you can also create a new model using the catalog pane by selecting the toolboxes. Right click the new toolbox, then right click the new toolbox and select new, and then model. This will create a new model in the toolbox and open the model window. Before we begin building our model, let's discuss the model elements that are the basic building blocks of models. There are four main types of model elements geoprocessing tools, variables, connectors, and groups. Geoprocessing tools perform various operations in geographic or tabular data. When tools are added to a model, they become model elements. You can open the tool dialog box of any geoprocessing tool in your model to set the input and output parameters. Variables are elements in a model that hold a value or a reference to data. There are two types of variables, data and value variables. Connectors connect data and values to tools. The connector arrows shows the direction of processing. There are four types of connectors, data, environment, precondition, and feedback. Groups are visual elements that group related tools together. These groups can collapse or expand to hide or show tools providing more visual space to work with. We will not be creating any groups in this tutorial, but it is something to know. Let's start creating our model by selecting our layer and dragging and dropping them into our model. We first need to clip the parcels identified within our AOI layer provided by our client. So let's open the geoprocessing tab and in the search, we're going to search for the clip tool. Let's select the tool and drag and drop it into the model window. We will then connect our layers to the clip tool by selecting the AOI layer and dragging and dropping the segment to the clip tool and selecting the appropriate parameters or variables we want to use in the tool. We will do the same for our parcels layer. Once we have connected our layers, you will see the tool change color. If the tool is red or gray, this typically means one of two things. The first being that not all of the variables that are needed to run the tool have been met and the second occurs when the model is being run. The tool will run or turn the tools red to identify which tool in the model is being run. Since our tool is yellow, this means we have met all of the variables. I then want to change the output feature name to clipped underscore parcels underscore in underscore AOI. This will help identify the layers better, then select OK. Next, we will search for the Add Field tool. 
and drag and drop it into our model window. We will then connect the clipped layer we created to add field tool and select the appropriate variables. Then we will double click the tool to open the tool and finish selecting our variables. If you remember, our client also wants the total acres of each parcel. So we are going to create a field called acres and make it a double type and select OK. You will notice that our tool is yellow and is now ready to run. Next, we need to calculate the geometry of each parcel to retrieve the total acres for each parcel. So in our geoprocessing window, we will search for the calculate geometry attribute tool and drag and drop it into our model window. And then connect our add table to our tool. We will then double click the tool to open the tool and select our variables. We want to select our field that we created called acres. And then for property, we want to select area. For the area unit, we will select international acres. And for the coordinate system, we will select the coordinate system of the AOI layer that the client has provided us with. Then select OK. This will change color of the tool, letting us know that we have met all of the variables needed to run this tool. If you remember, our client also requested that we provide this layer as a KMZ file. So we need to do this by adding two more tools. Let's search for the Make Feature Layer tool and drag and drop it into our model window. And connect our table to this tool. This will create a layer file of the clipped parcels underscore in underscore AOI layer. Let's update it, the name of the layer and select OK. Then let's search for the layer to KML tool and drag and drop it into our model window. And connect our layer to our tool. Let's double click the tool and select the location where we want to save our KMZ file to. And then let's select OK. Now that we have created a model, Let's identify each step in our model to ensure we have met all of our client's requests. Select the Label tab at the top. This will populate a label in our model. Let's call this Step 1, Clip Parcels to our AOI. Let's copy and paste this label and we'll call this Step 2, Add Acres Field. Then we'll copy and paste this label and call this step three. And we're going to call it calculate acres of the parcels. We're going to copy and paste this and we're going to call it step four, create layer file. Copy and paste. And then we will label this step five, create KMZ file. Now that we have validated that we have met our client's needs, we will change the name of this model to Demo by selecting Properties on the Model ribbon. Here is where we will change the name of the model, update the label, and the description of the model. Once we have completed this, we will select OK. Then select Save. The Save icon can be found in the ribbon. This will save our changes and the properties of the model that we've updated. Let's now validate our model by selecting the green check in the ribbon. 
This is typically only necessary after you have created a model and the data or tools in the model have been modified, moved, renamed, or deleted. You also need to validate your model if all processes in the model have been run and you want to run them again. Validating a model will return all processes to their ready to run state. If you validate a model and a process changes to not ready to run, elements are gray. It means that one or more tool parameters or input variables are invalid. Now that we have validated our model and there are no issues, we will run the model by selecting the run icon in the ribbon. A window will pop up, which will display the processing of the model. I'm going to select the box next to close on complete, which will close this window when the model is done running. While the model is running, you will see the tool turn red while it's running. Now that our model is complete, let's open Catalog and view the results. First, you will see our model in our toolbox. Then scrolling down, you will see the clipped underscore parcels underscore in underscore AOI layer in our geo database that we created. And lastly, you will see our clipped parcels in AOI KMZ file in the folder location that we specified. This completes our client request. And now we have our model that we can run for next time. This completes the introduction of ArcGIS Pro Model Builder. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have provided links to some great resources that will help you get started in Model Builder in the description. If you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, share, and be sure and subscribe to our GeoMarvel channel for more great content. Thank you for watching.